Hey guys, what's up? This is Sparks, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Dr. Zark's Magic Carpet Mod for Minecraft. So if you guys click on the link in the description, it'll say the Magic Carpet Mod. Um, you're going to take you right to this webpage right here. This is the Minecraft forum. You're going to see this picture right here. You're going to see download the mod. Um, you're just going to want to download that right there and save it onto your desktop just like that. Dr. Zark's Magic Carpet Mod. Um, save it onto your desktop just like that. Another link that you guys are actually going to need is Minecraft Forge. Um, so you guys can click on the link in the description that says Minecraft Forge. It's going to take you right to this website here. You're always going to want to make sure you download the very top version that's always the most recent version of forge and you're going to want to make sure you download the universal version right there um, save that on your desktop just like that minecraft forge um, now another link and in the description, it's going to say Optifine. Optifine is not required for the Dr. Zark's mar uh, Magic Carpet mod, but it's a great mod to help you guys out with lag. So I always recommend to install Optifine. Um, so you just look on your desktop just like that. So once you guys have downloaded all those right there, um, you guys open Minecraft. Um, once that's open, as soon as it opens, um, go to Options, Force Update, click on and log in. Now, if you guys don't like Force Updating your game, um, I always recommend to back up and save your Minecraft. Backing up and saving your Minecraft. Um, there's a link in the description that says back up and save your Minecraft. Um, that's always a great video to watch. I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, so basically, what, what the reason why we're Force Updating is because I already have mods installed, and I don't know if those mods are actually compatible with the Magic Carpet mod. Um, so in order to not to get a black screen, it's always a great idea to Force Update or back up and save your Minecraft. So once that's done, um, once that's done, done loading, make sure you guys close Minecraft as soon as this Mojang screen gets out of the way. Come on, Mojang screen. Come on. I'm trying to make a mod install video here. Move. <laughs> Alright, so once that finally has, the Mojang screen has finally got off, um, just want to make sure you guys close Minecraft. Make sure Minecraft is closed always when installing mods. So once you guys have downloaded all those files and you guys have forced updated, you guys are ready to start. Um, so just click on start. Go to... Uh, right there, type in percent a p p d a t a. That's a percent app data and another percent. Um, you're gonna see this roaming folder right here. Click on that roaming folder, and this is where you see the dot Minecraft folder. Open that dot Minecraft folder. This is where you see the bin resources and saves. You're gonna want to open the bin, and you're gonna see this Minecraft executable jar file right here. Now, if you guys try to open it, it's not gonna let you. So if you right click on it and open this with WinRAR, you guys are able to open it. Um, so once this Minecraft dot jar is open with WinRAR, um, you guys can open it there. Um, if you guys actually don't already have WinRAR installed, there will be a link in the description so you guys can download and install it from there. So once that's open, you're going to see this Meta in folder right here. You're going to want to right click on that Meta in folder, delete these files, push yes. Make sure that Meta Inf is always deleted um, because if it's not, you will get a black screen. So make sure that is deleted. Um, um, so you're going to want to open, not the Dr. Zarks, um, you're going to want to open the Minecraft Forge Universal right there. Uh, move this aside. Um, so make sure you open the Minecraft Forge Universal. Um, you're going to want to right click, select all, and drag all these files right into the Minecraft.jar that you open with an R. Wait for that to get done. Uh, push OK, and you guys are done with the Minecraft Forge Universal mods. You guys can close that. Um, you guys, again, I'm going to show you guys how to install Optifine. So if you move that over, Move that over there, um, just right click, select all, and drag all these files right into the Minecraft.jar of the open within R. Push OK, and you guys are done with Optifine, so you guys can close that, and you guys are also done with the Minecraft.jar, so you guys can close that. Okay, so once you guys have done um, the Forge and the Optifine, you're going to see this Minecraft right here. You're going to want to click back one. This is where you see the bin, resources, and saves. Now, if you guys are actually lost, you guys don't know where I'm at, maybe you guys accidentally closed out of the X right here. Um, how we got to this was the percent at the percent down and start then we went to the roaming folder and then we went to the minecraft folder and this is where you see the bin resources and saves and now you're going to want to add a new folder and you want to call this folder mods all under caps mods folder push enter and you guys are going to want to open that mods folder make sure that folder is empty and you're going to drag the dr zark's magic carpet mod right into the mods folder very simple just like that and you guys are completely done with installation and you guys are ready to play the carpet mod so hopefully this video guys helped you guys out hopefully you guys aren't getting a black screen if you are, just make sure you guys force update and redo this video exactly like I showed you. Um, again, I always recommend to back up and save your Minecraft because that is always a very good way to install your mods. So if you guys um, actually want to be part of the Blaze Army, make sure you guys are subscribed. I do a lot of mod reviews and a lot of mod installs on my channel. So you guys can always feel free to check those things out. They're all over my channel. I also play Hunger Games. I also do a lot of the Let's Plays. Um, all those kind of things. Um, not so much recently because I've been very busy, but um, those are always fun to watch. So yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching.